Hello, this is my writing bag or my reading bag. I refer to it as my house handbag. Basically, this bag sees me from my office to the lounge, to my bedroom, and then back again to my office, then to the lounge, then to my bedroom. And it carries everything that I might need as I move around the house at different times of the day. My mind is always on the go and if I'm watching a TV programme where I think oh that's an interesting point and I want to write it down in my writing journal then I realise my writing journal is on my desk and then I think oh I can't be bothered to go and fetch it. So just having my bag full of all my creative things that follows me around the house makes me more likely to use my writing journal to pick up a book when um, I have a bit of time or to fill in my reading journal. Whatever it is, this bag, it's just genius, really. It really, really helps. So the bag itself is from a British company called Tilly Anna, specifically from the country of Wales, and that's their name there, Tilly Anna down the side. And they embroidered my initials HR on there for me. It is made of jute, it's got leather handles, it's got little press studs to the side here, which I will open up to make it a little bit more roomy. And on this side, and is incredibly sturdy. If you look at Tiliana on their website, I believe this is the Moss Green Studio bag. It's got a cotton lining as well on the inside. And at the bottom, it's got this kind of sturdy base which is perfect for carrying books around. And it's got these little brass feet as well. So it keeps it off the ground, which is great when you've got dogs like I have and they are currently go through their molting stage. So yes, this is my, my bag and I absolutely love it. So what is on the inside of my writing bag? So here we are looking down inside the bag and you will notice here that there is a little pocket with a zip on it. <laughs> and don't laugh, but this is where I'm keeping my deep heat and my, I believe, pain relief, which I'm using currently for my hand. And I also have, it's a very deep pocket, a couple of post-it bookmarks which I use for my non-fiction and I have just a lip salve here which is from Dermalogica and yes it is age smart. Then we get to two more bags and these are also from Tilly Anna. I bought these myself in the New Year sale I don't think they are currently available at the moment, but this one is a wash bag, again with my initials on. And I also have this kind of less structured bag as well. So I'll just move this bag out the way and we can have a little look at what is inside each of these. So yeah, this one is a wash bag, which means on the inside it's got that kind of plasticky coating to protect it from wetness but this is where I keep all my felt tips these are the brush felt tips and on the other end is the finer nib I got these from Amazon I'll link them in the box below and I use these for colouring in aspects of my journals and also for highlighting particular pages within my within my non-fiction books that I read for research. So this is a denim blue bag. And yes, I've already marked it on the bottom. Things don't last particularly long with me. Um, then we've got a less structured bag. 
and in here I keep all my bits and bobs so I've got some stickies to make notes post-its um smaller post-its I think have I also yeah even smaller post-its here for the again for the bookmarks I find these incredibly useful for highlighting pages then I have uh, a pen sharpener pencil sharpener sorry a bit of washi tape Tipex, a rubber or an eraser, um, and then various pens. And the pens that I use uh, to colour code my reading journal, for example, I've just put a little bit of washi tape around them. So if they do happen to go in with the other bag full of pens, they are easily identifiable. And then I've got V5 pens this one is a um non-reusable but i do this one is a a cartridge one that i from pilot it's got liquid ink and you just refill with a fresh cartridge and these are my favorite pens to write with funnily enough nothing fancy but i love writing with them so that's in that bag and you will see in a moment why I have all those post-its. And again, this has a H for Helen, just in case I forget what my name is. I'll pull that back in. So back to the bag. And as you can see, I have some non-fiction books that I carry around with me. So this is uh, Sabotage by Emma Gannon. I am partway through reading this and I've actually used a highlighter here to highlight pages. Um, I am reading The Successful Author Mindset by Joanna Penn. And this is all research for my own book. And I've not I've not actually not started that one, but I've kept it in there for when um, I have a quick few minutes because you can just read little bits at a time. And then this is my current read. It's called Quiet by Fern Cotton. And as you can see, I've started making notes, highlighting certain sections with the this particular brush pen. And I have started using the post-its as well for when I want to return back to a point that she has made within the book. So yeah, I'm carrying three non-fiction books around with me and that is primarily because I am researching mindset for my own book that I am currently writing. So back to the bag. And next we have my reading journal. And this is something I mentioned in my in my video last week. And this contains a list of all the books that I have currently been reading. It's not very far through this, but I carry this around as well. Or I leave it by the side of my bed. And then I also have my writing journal. Again, you saw this on the video last week. I just have... A few pages left to go and then I will be on to my new writing journal which will be the one the green one by Yop and Tom from last week's video and then finally I have the current novel that I am reading and this is The Christie Affair and it's by Nina de Gramont if I've pronounced that correctly. And I have started reading this and I think I've not put a page marker in here. I think I'm on chapter two. So that's it. That is everything that is in my writing bag. It's basically some fiction and my reading journal my writing journal, which goes everywhere with me, and then th 
three non-fiction books that I'm currently in the process of reading and making notes from. Deep Heat Ibuprofen Gel for the sore hand situation. Dermalogica Lip Renewal Lip Complex for dry lips. And lots of pens, pencils and post-it notes. And that all goes in my writing bag. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I will try and list everything below. Any questions, just give me a shout. Bye for now. Bye.